Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, proving trig identities. And the first thing that we want to do when we're proving trig identities is to look at the more complex side. And in this instance, it is the left hand side. So we'll start off our proof by saying the left hand side is equal to cos 2x plus 1 all over cos 2x times cos squared x. Now if we look at this, we have cos 2x which we have three expansions for and the expansion that I'm going to choose is going to be 2 cos squared x minus 1 because I want to cancel off this constant. So it's going to be 2 cos squared x minus 1 plus 1 because the minus 1 and the plus 1 would now cancel off. In the bottom I have cos 2x times cos squared x. Now if I look at that very carefully, I will leave cos 2x like that for now because this bottom cos squared x as it stands will be able to also cancel off. So I'm actually now left with 2 over cos 2x. Now at this stage, cos 2x once again will have three expansions. I can either choose cos squared x minus sine squared x, 2 cos squared x minus 1, or 1 minus 2 sine squared x. But I'm not sure which one to choose. So I'm going to see if I can simplify the right hand side. So I have 1 over cos squared x minus half and I can simplify a little bit further so I'm going to say 1 over my LCD will be 2 so it will be 2 cos squared x minus 1 which would leave me with 1 times 2 over 2 cos squared x minus 1. Now, I could have simplified earlier, but I just want to show you something. 1 times, we all know 2 cos squared x minus 1 is 2 cos x. So it'll be 2 over, or should I say cos 2x. So let me say that again. 2 cos squared x minus 1 is cos 2x. That's equal to 2 or cos 2 so what can we see now? They are both equal to each other. Therefore, now we can conclude that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And that's one of the ways in which you can prove identity. So if we just recap, what's the first thing we must do? We must let the left-hand side equal to the more complex side. Simplify as far as possible. Remember that cos 2x has three expansions. Cos 2 cos squared x minus 1 cos squared x minus sine squared x and 1 minus 2 sine squared x. The one that we want to choose is normally to cancel off a constant or to keep it within the same trig ratio. If we're not sure in which direction to go, see if you can simplify the right hand side. And eventually you'll be able to make the left hand side equals to the right hand side. I'll catch you in the next video.